Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you the C Trader Alarm Manager dashboard, the limited version. So it's free. You can download it for free and use it for free. Um, you can download it from the ClickAgo website by just going under Software, uh, C Trader Software, and you'll find it through there. It's easy enough to find. Um, so I'll start off. This is this is the what we've done is we've got a full version which has got the our account, sorry, the account and trade activity alerts, um, and then the web feeds and other features that we're we're not including in, in the free version. But the free version is pretty much um, a really good functional application to use actually. So I'll go straight in and start explaining it to you. Um, no, not that one. So you'll launch it from uh, C Trader as a C bot. Just drag it onto your chart and press the play button, and then it will just load up. And the first thing you'll see is the dashboard screen. I don't know if you've seen the the um, the full version, but I'll go through the limited version anyway. Um, so the, all of this you get for free, and I'll go through it quickly in a minute, uh, over it again in a minute. Uh, the account alarms you don't get, uh, the trade activity alarm you don't get, uh, real time news you do, you get that for free as well. Click on that, you can minimize that. Click on the calendar, and you've got all the upcoming uh, new real time news events, and you get some guy's voice. This is a sound test. So when a news event occurs, he tells you it's occurring. Web feeds, you only get the FX, uh, Forex Zone sentiments. Um, there is a whole list in the full version of, uh, of uh, news feeds you can, or, yeah, news feeds or website feeds you can access. Uh, but for this one, we're just going to give you this. Uh, under the settings folder, you've got C Trader Memory Manager, so you can set. Um, I don't. If my memory goes above one gigabyte, I want it to auto flush. I'll just quickly do it here. I'll put it on 550. And it's auto flush deck to hit 55. So it flushes the memory down until it goes back up. Um, it explained it in the last memory why you'd want to do that. You want to set it at a higher, a higher value. It's just that the platform caches data um, to make it perform faster. But if it's affecting your PC performance, then you might want to cache it. You might want to um, have some kind of um, memory flusher like this or a memory booster. Um, you've got your always on top. So you can have this always on top of the screen as you're flicking through the screens. All the stuff to do with, um, you can also test your email here to see if your email works. So if you actually put, uh, set up your email up here, email preferences, um, you can actually then just send a test email, put your address in there to see if it works. But mostly none of these features really work apart from the memory manager because this is all for the full version. Your log file will give you some log information. Um, on the about box, you've got open settings folder. You've got to visit us, watching videos, reporting bugs, and buy or try it will take you to the website. If you want to do a trial version, you can do a 15 day trial version of the full version, uh, free of charge. And then if you don't want it, it doesn't matter. Um, or if you want to buy it, well, I think we're selling it now for £24.99. Okay, so I'll go to the dashboard, which is the main thing you want to be looking at. What we've got here is your current balance, which is in this case, 3,727. Now that's green. Um, if you were to open the platform, um, sorry, that's green, but if you were to leave this running and then tomorrow that value is less, it will go red. It's just it's some small changes in features. So that's your current balance. Then you have your current margin level. It's the same as what C Trader shows at the bottom, margin level. Then you've got margin available and C Trader does show that as well. It's called it um, free margin, but C Trader calls it free margin, and it's got it as 2,140 at the bottom. If you check this box, 2,140. We're actually showing this as a percentage as well, 58, 57.91%. So that's quite useful. Um, unrealized gross profit there. And then we've got two other features which are very useful, which is your daily profit and your weekly profit. So this will record how much you make today or today so far. Um, so each day it works. So you might have a target you want to reach each day. And also weekly profit, it also calculates what your um, weekly profit is. So as the days go by, from Monday to Friday, it'll actually just do a, a calculation of work out what your weekly profit. So if you have profit targets like daily targets or weekly targets, this is quite useful. On the right hand side, you've got equity here. And this top thing up here where it says minus 0.79, that is your, um, your equity loss at the moment. So that's how much you're down, you're down point. 81%, which is the same as your drawdown here, which we're doing a drawdown risk. We're doing the current drawdown of your capital at the moment, which is 0.81. And as that, and you can scale this by auto scale, you can actually change this. So if you only want to do a maximum drawdown of five, you can set it to five. Um, in the alarm manager, it'll actually give you alarms and stuff. So the actual full version here actually is related to the dashboard. There's a lot of things in here that the alarms will go off on there. Um, and if you look at the full version, uh, the website for the full version uh, application, it tells you it in more detail. Um, so then you've got your equity here, which is because it's red, because equity is lower than your balance. If it, it's green when it's higher than the, your balance. 
Then you've got your trade status. So total losers, total winners. Uh, so at the moment, total losers, total, pip, total pips is minus 50. And total winners obviously is zero at the moment. If I just put a trade on, uh, five, so down at the bottom, Oh, there, it's gone in now. So total winners too. It's just because there's nothing going on. So it shows you the total winners, total users. Now here, when it says monetary win loss, normally when people do a win loss ratio, it's it's winners to losers, as in the number of winners to the number of losers. But that's not a really useful way to do it because you might have one, you might have five losers, but one winner, and your winner might be much bigger than your losers. So you really want to know what a financial uh, monetary loss is. So in this case, it's down here, unrealized net profit. These two compared will give you the reading there. Um, you can read more about that on the website as well. Then you've got your total positions. Then you've got your total pips. So that's the, um, the, the positive tips and your negative pips, what the actual uh, end value is. And the same with total unrealized net profit, which is your winners and your losers. OK, that's just the dashboard. That would be very useful on its own for just seeing what's going on. Uh, the drawdown is very useful because if you've got only a certain amount of drawdown you want to be using, you can actually see how much of your capital is at risk at any one time. So this is a very useful screen to use anyway. Um, like I said, you don't have the account alarms. There's another video if you want to find out more about the full version of the C Trading Alarm Manager. And this goes into this in more detail and it explains how these alerts work. So if you're looking at this video for the first time and you've never seen the Alarm Manager, uh, go and look at the full version. And the full version will actually explain all this to you. I'll actually quickly show you on the website. So this is the trial version. So we click on software. And then the full version is here. And there's a 50% discount at the moment. Um, so the full version, I'll just minimize that. The full version, um, the, the website gives you it in much more detail. Tells you, tells you everything about it, um, how it all works. And then we have videos. If I scroll to the top, watch a video, you can actually watch uh, demo videos and explanation videos. I think there's four videos actually. And they go into detail on um, all the different type, part, parts of the trade uh, of the application. It tells you how the alarms work and how you would use it because it sends like pop-ups and stuff like that. So I won't go into too much detail because I'm obviously marketing it, trying to sell you it sort of thing. But um, it just goes to show if you are interested in this product, just go to the... Um, the actual page for the software, which is under Alarm Manager Dashboard. Okay, I'll go back to the application again. Okay, I'll go back to application. So you don't get that with this version. Yeah, you don't get any. The reason the whole application was developed for is to give you um, alerts and alarms, but it's got additional features like the dashboard. So again, you can see here you can do a pop-up message, voice and mail pop-up, uh, email message, SMS message, or a Telegram message, and you can even have it um, close positions for you. So somewhere around here, oh, it's on trade activity. No, I think it's this one. Close the, the position or close all positions. Close all the position. So you've got close the or close all somewhere in here. Yeah, close all winners, close all losers, close positions. So there's a lot of features you can use and you can edit the uh, message that comes in. So I won't go into too much detail on that. This is just an overview of the free version. So uh, real-time news impact. This is a pretty cool tool that is supplied by News Impact. Um, and this actually tells you in voice terms just before a news release is about to occur. So if you have this running on your dashboard in the background and a news release, uh, sorry, a minute before a news release or five minutes actually says in this voice. This is a sound test. But he says, as, he, as I said, there's a news release is going to occur. Uh, if you go to data flash, you can actually um, configure it. So it actually says in a voice buy or sell if it's above or below the predicted value when the actual news release occurs. Uh, and then they've got some beta here, active trader. Um, or if you want the full version of this, which means I think it just removes the adverts, um, you just have to pay $10 a month. If you can live with the adverts, you just leave it in there, you just log on and it'll actually give you real time news. You can see it's got the green. This is a sound test. Sorry, you've got the green thing up there that tells you what's going on. This is a very useful tool. I like it very much because while I'm trading, it actually tells me, you know, in a voice, this what's going to occur, a news release is about to occur. Um, and then you've got web feeds. As I mentioned before, we're only giving you the sentiment. Uh, but you can, in the full version, select any one of these uh, uh, informational feeds, market feeds, and you can add your own. So you've got the option to add your own as well, so that while you're trading, you've got um, information at your fingertips. And it's very useful just to flick between the tabs. You've got the news releases, you've got the trade activity, you've got the uh, market data feeds, finding out what's going on. So all of this together is a very useful tool to have running on your PC. And then in the settings folder, uh, like I said, you don't really have any functional features that, that you can use here apart from the memory manager. And, and even this on its own is a very useful tool. 
you can actually just have this for your VPS. You could put this on your VPS, leave it running, set it uh, to auto boost every time it hits one gig. And you know that um, your, because most VPSs you've got low RAM, like two to two gigs, I don't know how much you're going to pay for it. But you, if you feel you've got a lot of algorithms running in there chewing up memory, um, as long as it doesn't affect your performance, you just have a memory boost. Every now and again, when it reaches that limit, clears the memory down. And that in itself is useful for stopping your PC from going out of memory and causing all sorts of problems. Um, so use this, use, I mean, you can use this one with charting, I mean, but I think this is more designed for people that um, don't have a lot of memory or their memory is being used up too much by the platform. Um, you might find that useful there. And you've got a little button here where you can have this always on top or not. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, again, you can visit the site here. And these, these are just for showing you, uh, watch the video manual. That's, that, this will take you directly, I think, to the videos. Yeah, take you directly to the videos if you want to watch them. It tells you how to report a bug if you just click on there. The settings folder, it just shows you where the uh, error logs are. I mean, for this version, you probably won't even use that. I should have disabled it, really, because you won't use that. Um, and then you've got the buy or try. So if you click on it, it will take you to the site if you want to buy the full version. Um, but I hope you enjoy the free version and I think I, I hope you, you know you find it very useful and again if you feel there's any features missing that you think would really enhance the product please tell me send me an email and I'll add it to the next release okay thank you very much